All right, we go one by one. We start with the almost back-to-back -back national champion. Bruce, someone sent, someone sent that? Okay, I'll send it. I'll send it. I'll send it. I'll send it. There you go. Bop. Okay. Uh, let me switch the scene over here. And we go. Probably French. Et salut à tous. Yes. Uh, okay. bon, salut. Bah, it's it's, uh, it's French. Jusqu'au dernier tournoi auquel j'ai participé, uh, championnat de France, j'ai fait finale. Donc, bah, on va présenter la petite deck process. Dark World Sprite avec des brains. Uh, okay. We have oh we have matchups. Sword Soul, Melfi, Branded, Melfi, Sprite, Runic, Sprite, Vanquish Soul, Branded, Sprite, Melfi, Marine, Dark World Sprite, Brave, Cash Tira. Only one Cash Tira in 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 Swiss. Honestly, relatively lucky for. Um, Playing Dragon Link, in that sense. But it's protagonist energy, so it's fine. On a fait une seule game de 45 minutes et le Kashira à la dernière round on a fait draw. Et en top j'ai joué contre Branded que j'ai gagné 2-1. Tier j'ai gagné 2-0. Runic Furrier j'ai gagné 2-0. Branded j'ai gagné 2-1. Sprite Melfi j'ai gagné 2-1 et Kashira j'ai perdu 2-0. Voilà. Anyone in chat, if you speak French, did he say what he lost to in Swiss against Kashira? Okay. <laughs> Okay, story checks out. We win against everything that isn't Cash Tira. So we, we lost in Swiss, we lost to Cash Tira, and in Top Cut, we lost to Cash Tira. So. Ouais, j'ai bien dodge les Cash Tira, je sais. Euh, je pense que j'ai pas mal de chance de côté là. Mais bon, le, le deck reste un peu intéressant. On va y arriver. Voilà. Donc, on va commencer par le main deck. Oh, it was a draw euh, in Swiss. Okay. Cartes. Donc, euh, j'ai un peu réduit par rapport à l'année dernière. Euh, wow. que, euh, I can explain my choices if you want. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, also, also congratulations. congratulations. Glad you're here. Euh, les roquettes, 3 quick launch, 2 tracer, 1 caliber, 1 recharger, 1 absorbeur, 1 boot sector launch. Euh, C'est le minimum syndical, c'est-à-dire qu'on ne peut pas jouer moins. Le caliber. This is still uh, the. This is the just level four another tuner. Okay. It's super important because I play a lot of synchro dice, and so it allows me to play a tracer, a doc, a synchronizer level four to go with the bestial to make a synchro dice. And it's a second synchronizer level four. He sauts with the hand, so it makes the absorber turn an extender. It allows me to have always a rocket in the deck. It's really super fort. And to complete the engine, there's a double disruptor and a rapid trigger. We had a flash back the last year. C'est des cartes qui ont été super fortes tout le week-end. C'est une aberration absolue. Le card advantage et les combos qu'on peut faire. I'm still not sure if I like those cards. I I remember when I remember when you played them last year and I I got them on on card market and I've never used them since. Caliber makes it so Tracer can summon a tuner to re replace itself when it's targeted. Okay, so when your opponent tries to get rid of the Tracer somehow, you can just target itself. Can Tracer target itself? Or do you have to target something else? But you still have a tuner. Rocket Tracer. Oh yeah, it can target itself. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's nice, I guess. If that's a problem that you have, if like you summon Tracer and your opponent books it, or your opponent, uh, I don't know, Fenrir's it somehow, or whatever. Yeah, I guess that I can see that. Or a Rysart, those type of things. You need, and you need the tuner. Okay, fair enough. I did. There were some things I liked about Rapid Trigger, just in theory, that I saw. Like it makes you play well in, into. It, it makes you play a lot better into Dark Ruler. That's one thing. Like um, Dark Ruler was a fairly popular card this weekend. I feel like. I feel like some people, definitely a lot of people, played Dark Ruler. Um, and Dark Ruler did get better. I think in this format, it's it's it's, it's decent in this format. Even though there's like no deck that makes incredibly insane boards. Still, like Dark Ruler, always negating these stuff like a Rise Hard and whatnot. Like your opponent starts a Rise Hard Fenrir, you get rid of both problems at the same time. Uh, you know. So stuff like that makes Dark Ruler a pretty good card in this format, and Rapid Trigger is good against Dark Ruler. It's also the my my favorite thing that that was done with this on stream. I think was when you could uh. You could fuse away your Druid Swarm to trigger it immediately. I like that a lot. I think that was a that is a very cute thing you can do with it. So the overall, I think the card is solid. Uh, it's a nice way to add an interruption going first with Ravine while having Dark Ruler in the main deck. Yeah, it's I can see it. It's just I'm concerned about having even more engine requirements. That's the only thing, right? It's just I guess it's a risk versus reward kind of situation where like um, the more like in Dragon Link, 
the more options you put into your deck for like your ravine targets and whatnot, the better it gets theoretically. Like, you know, the the caliber makes your tracer a little bit better if you don't draw it. The these guys make your ravine better because you have more options if you don't draw them. You know, but you already you're already playing a deck where you don't want to draw this card, you don't want to draw the, the boot sector, you don't want to draw the ravine, you don't want to draw the rapid trigger, you don't want to I I, I I get it. It's just that typically I would be trying to go. I I personally probably would go. I would be too scared. I think to to play all those. Uh, yeah. Compared to last year, Dispatcher Reborn Disruptor is crazy. Dispatcher is good in combination with those cards. Yeah. The anyone know the monster next to Rapid Trigger? It's called Double Disruptor Dragon. I think it's it searches it when you. I think you banish it from the graveyard. Double Disruptor Dragon. You can banish this card from your graveyard, add a Rapid Trigger or Heavy Interlock from deck to the graveyard. Yeah, so you, you banish it from the graveyard to add Rapid Trigger uh, from deck or graveyard, and then you uh, later on you can revive it with this pattern to potentially recycle the Rapid Trigger. And so I said, that's a bit like a free spot, but I can accede to it before. Most of them aren't Garnet, more like drawing Fateful Adventure. True. True. They are not completely dead, right? If you draw Double Disruptor, you can just discard it. If you draw Boot Sector, it's like it's still a good card. You just don't get the free search off of Sk Striker Dragon. There's like they aren't hard bricks. You still don't like to draw them, right? Like your hands get a little bit worse. Um, you still like it's a it's a little bit worse if you draw those cards, right? You would rather not, and you still have to be careful. Like even though the cards aren't hard breaks, you still have to be careful in deck building because at some point, if you play too many of those cards, your hands are just going to be a little bit too average. Josh, if you win German Nats with Mathmech, we're going to give you a five hundred subs. You the thing is. You're saying that like that's a giga chat announcement, Sleeve Chief, but you know that's not gonna work. Like you know that's never gonna happen. You're like you can you can say any number you want. You can be like, hey, I'm gonna give you a million bucks if you win German Nats with Mathmech. I'm never gonna like. So th these words mean nothing. They are empty. Plus... <laughs> I like that. I like that exact ratio, I think. Like, you obviously, three Lubellion, three Magnamut. So Ronir, I think, is particularly nice in this deck because we saw that he was playing Regained and Beast. So if you have Lubellion access, you can Saronir, um, tribute Saronir for Lubellion or send Saronir to the graveyard. Otherwise, uh, you send Regain from deck to graveyard and then Beast from Lubellion, you get the Regain for free. So that's um, the Saronir I really like. And then, of course, one Druis, one Baldrake I like as, as targets for Magnamut. Um, beast deals are solid this format, but I still don't think you need to play, play more than six in terms of as hand traps. So I like I like playing maximum Magnamut and then the other ones one offs for utility. I like that. Plus possible parce que c'est elle qui fait le grind, la récursivité, la résilience, qui fait tout dans le deck. Et le reste c'est du support. En fait c'est un deck bestial contrôle avec d'autres engins en support et en finisher. J'avais pendant testing deux raisons de plus en side. J'ai vu les quatre parce que j'avais pas la place, mais je les aimais beaucoup. Mais voilà en soi l'engin bestial elle est bien comme ça. Je pense que les rationnels sont bons. I love those cards so much, dude. I love those cards so much. This is the reason why I, I said I, there's a small chance I'm playing Dragon Link at Nationals. Which I don't think I will, or I, I, I will not, but like that, that was the reason why I wanted to. I wanted to, I want to play with those cards. One day, one day I will enter a tournament with those cards. I promise. Et voilà, c'est tout pour l'engine. Pour les free spots, donc j'ai joué 3 H et 3 infinite parce que je trouvais que c'était les trappes et tout polyvalent du format. Et 3 dark pouleurs pour avoir une carte qui okay. peut, peut vraiment casser les boards quand je joue au second. Ça a été super fort euh, tout le week-end en vrai. I mean, 41 cards, I think all of this is, 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 is beautiful, honestly. 
the the cards that I think are debatable. I'm not saying they're wrong. I think they are, I, I, like I said, I think they are high risk, high reward. That doesn't necessarily make them wrong. You can make the decision to do it that way. Are Double Disruptor, Rapid Trigger, and the Rocket Caliber. Those cards are like nice in the deck, nice options, but you prefer not to draw them. So if you, um, if you could, you know, if you, if you, if you want to go like less risky, more consistent, you could you could take out I think those three and play two other like good draws, but um, I mean the thing is they make they, it's also good for a card like it's also a very important quality of a card sometimes that um, if if a card is in your deck and makes your deck better that's powerful like that's a powerful kind of effect for a card to have is to make your deck better just by being in your deck. You don't even have to draw the card. It makes your it makes your deck better just by being in there somewhere. Doesn't matter if it's the bottom card of your deck, middle card of your deck, top card of your deck. If it's in your deck, makes the card um makes the deck a little bit stronger. So at the end of the day, I still I really like this list and honestly, it's 41, but if you want to play the the caliber, the disruptor and the rapid trigger, I don't see anything you can cut. I like this non-engine too. I think Dark Ruler is is pretty solid in Dragon Link. Um, yeah. Ah, j'ai joué les quelques bandes de Infinite Sight. Franchement, franchement les Freetop étaient vraiment cool. J'ai pas joué cette cache pour dire si c'était vraiment assez. En fait, j'avais l'impression. J'ai après ce week-end, j'ai l'impression qu'en fait Dark Ruler c'est pas assez contre cache malheureusement parce que entre le fait qu'il peut avoir Shifter, qu'il peut avoir Burst, Burst c'est trop fort contre ce deck. Je fais Dark Ruler, j'active Chaos Space, Burst va nous tourner au cimetière, j'ai presque perdu. Donc c'est un problème euh, aussi. Mais ouais, Dark Ruler, j'ai l'impression que c'était pas assez fort contre cache parce que si je peux pas le tuer, il me remonte après. Yeah, it's it's kind of sad that no matter what non-engine you draw, if they have shifter, they sh they. Yes. I wonder if there's a Zeus here. Because I feel like like the thing is we've seen two games yesterday, where. It wasn't always it wasn't always him it was also also once it was another the other dragon link player where there's no Zeus okay where i i feel like if you're playing talents in this format no matter what deck you're playing there should be a Zeus unless it's a runic deck that doesn't have a battle phase if it's not a runic deck there should probably be a Zeus except for maybe branded is another exception Maybe branded is another exception, yeah. But like most decks that play talents should be on Zeus, even if they can't even naturally make it, even if it's the only XYZ in your extra deck. I think you should play Zeus because, dude, taking Cash Tira's only a Rise Heart and then make a Zeus on top of it is like the best thing you can do with talents. Come on, dear. Avec les synchro 10, justement, on a, on a justement moins besoin de la deuxième. Par contre, Quadborel, je trouvais super fort parce que, par exemple, quand on invoque Sil en zone extra et qu'on invoque Pisty, ça nous permet d'avoir une lien 2 qui pointe de l'autre côté pour compléter les flèches. Et il n'y a pas d'autre lien qui fait ça, sur en vrai, quand on a passé le striker et en général, on l'a passé. Donc, il est pratique pour ce genre de setup là. Et en soi, il permet de refaire des synchro, des synchro 8 à partir du d'un board vide. Ou alors, si on a accès à un initial, il permet de reborn les roquettes pour faire le synchro 10. Make dark with a rise heart and then steal it. Gotta be up there. Your. It's not even close. Because, like. You steal a zero material Arise Heart, so it takes a while until you can use the effect. And most decks don't want to be under Macro Cosmos. Most decks don't like that. Most decks would rather have the Zeus somewhere else, but not on the field. Link 3, Triple Burst, Unicorn. C'est les deux Link 3 génériques qui marchent Unicorn en Triple Burst, Triple Burst pour les combos. Un access code. Oh, only one seals. Okay, I guess space issues, but I, I guess I, you don't really need to, I think. Un board Eden, c'est auto-win contre plein de trucs et c'est un end board euh, tout seul, c'est incroyable. Il clear tout, il fait euh, ah, une très bonne carte, surtout pour les links. Ensuite, pour les synchros, on a Savage, c'est la seule synchro 8 du main deck, enfin du, du main track, comme j'ai compris. Savage, Baron, euh, Dispatcher, probably. Synchros, synchros, I don't know Dispatcher, if we have another 8. Oh, Chaos Angel too, of Dispatcher, course, yeah. Ensuite, Chaos Angel, je l'ai fait quelques fois, il y a une fois où ça a été super important, hein, c'était en top 16, je crois, contre Gab qui jouait Furrier, Runic euh, Sprite. Et je l'ai fait pour bannir la fontaine et ça a été important plus tard dans la game qu'elle soit bannie parce qu'elle a pas pu la récupérer avec Jerry du coup. Et en plus il a dû dépenser pas mal de ressources à la dépenser et je l'ai fait avec Cypher Fandicial, voilà. Et par contre je crois que je l'ai invoqué une fois dans le tournoi, mais en testing elle est arrivée pas mal donc elle est, elle est forte en vos secondes dans des games c'est simple aussi. 
Voilà, c'est les synchro et il reste une petite carte dans l'extra deck. C'est le plus beau, c'est Furious. Furious, c'est yeah. une carte. I don't possible. even know what I would cut for the Zeus if you're playing the Fusion, honestly. Because for this main deck, this extra deck seems like it just has to be that. The only card that's maybe like dark, maybe, maybe dark or quad boral. It's like the only two that you can really think about, right? Everything else has to be there. I would put it in the side since Talents is not main. That, yeah, you can also do that. Yeah, if, you don't, if you're not maining Talents anyways, uh, you could side it, yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, in the, uh, in the finals game too, did you scoop because the Talents wasn't in the deck anymore or because you couldn't, have, you couldn't do anything with the Arise Heart because you didn't have Zeus? Was it banished or was it there and you just couldn't do anything with it? Oh, you didn't side it in. We side it. Uh, because I guess going first. Uh, uh, I guess going first, you can't use thrust to find it, anyways. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see. Just in one second, when we decide to package, we can decide to decide. We are obliged to decide, and it's why there's a card extra inside. Thrust was only for the Ruma. Yeah, I, that makes sense. Thrust into the Ruma is an interesting way to beat Shifter, I think. Thrust into the Ruma is an interesting way to beat Shifter. And for the side, the Scarlet, which is for the time and for the side of Furious in one second. He was hard today, I think I've won one game on time thanks to him. C'est tout, il n'a pas fait grand chose de plus, mais c'était une bonne sécurité parce qu'en gros second il peut faire des rigidies comme certains decks sur tout Sprite et autres. Ensuite, 3 Droll. Je pense que Droll était nécessaire dans ce format pour la sécurité à tous les Rogue match c'est-à-dire que c'est une carte qui est nécessaire contre tout ce qui est Dark World, tout ce qui est euh, Manadium, tout ce qui est Flunder. Il y, y a plein de decks euh, Rogue euh, et contre euh, Furrier Unit. Ok, so I, I didn't quite... I think what he said was Droll... I don't think Droll is that great against most of the meta decks. I don't know if he said that or not, but I think what he said was it's really good against all kinds of Rogue. Like Flunder... Dark World and Manadium is, I think, what he said. So I, I do agree with that. I, I don't think I would main deck or I would play Droll if it was for just the meta decks. Like, out of the meta decks, honestly, I think you, I, you can only really side it consistently against... Um, like, you can side it against Kashira, and you can side it against Runic, and you can side it against Dragon Link. And it's good against those decks, but it's not, like, crazy against a lot of hands. Because a lot of runic decks, they'll summon Hugin in the draw phase, and then they, you can draw them later, but then they still have Fountain, they still have runics, they still do some sprites stuff, maybe, like red or carrot, and you're just not guaranteed to be able to play against them. Um, and against Kashtira, it's the same thing, you know, because sometimes they open terraforming or... or um, terraforming or prosperity and then suddenly droll is insane but sometimes they start special unicorn at theosis and then you have to droll they look at your extra deck banish a card activate theosis just play a little bit like that and it's just not that great right you can still definitely lose to that um so against meta decks i don't think droll is great but if you want to have that kind of safety net against rogue like if you're actually expecting Dark World, Flunder, Drytron, Dragon Link. Well, Dragon Link isn't rogue anymore, but like those types of decks, then I think it's okay. C'est fort aussi. Euh, on veut avoir Droll spécifiquement et il n'y a pas de carte qui remplace, donc je pense que c'était important d'avoir. Et ensuite, le reste du side, c'est juste 3 Trusts, avec 2 Evenly, 1 Talents, 1 Lightning Storm, 1 Raigeki, 1 Buster, 1 Herald et 1 Daruma. Donc, okay. ça, <laughs> All the targets. Ce qu'on veut faire, c'est peut-être Talents. Euh, L'idée, c'est que les matchups contre lesquels j'ai... Herald of the Abyss, are we really respecting towers in this format? What is this for? Adagnister? Purely... Do we respect the Vex? Daruma is super fort contre Cash, so if I'm a shifter, I'm going to trust Daruma. Chaos Angel... Lands in Cash Tira, okay, that makes sense. It's a card that can really embed the sprite. Lance makes sense. I, I want to look at some Cash Tira lists because I want to see what they're up to now. The enemies, what the enemies are doing. You need to be, you need to stay close to your friends, but closer to your enemies. So we have to watch some Cash Tira deck profiles. Um, if everyone is on Lance, I understand this choice. 
Pour le reste, c'est que des one-off sauf Evenly, parce que Evenly, on veut la hard-draw pour forcer un effet de monstre, puis faire ça sans main phase 2. On veut pas forcément. Enfin, on, on veut en tout cas l'avoir directement en main de départ, plus que les autres, je pense. Et Heart of the Abyss, c'était pour tourner autour de lance interdite euh, sur Riser. Pour... Does it work versus a Riser if it sends to. It, it works against a Riser, yeah. Her okay, I guess this might. Herald of the Abyss. This might need some explanation just so everyone is everyone knows what we're talking about. Um, Herald of the Abyss. Some people might not even know the card because honestly, it wasn't very popular for us because purely never took off and never got the chance to take off. Uh, pay a thousand five hundred life points. Declare a monster type and attribute. Your opponent must send a face-up monster with the declared type and attribute from their field to the graveyard if possible. For the rest of this turn, your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters with that monster's name. You can only activate one Herald of the Abyss per turn. The reason why this card is good is because it, it, it removes any monster off of the opponent's board, even if it is unaffected. If a monster is unaffected, like um, X Purely Noir, or Ad Arrival Cybers, or an, uh, a Cash Tira Arise Heart that has been Forbidden Lanced, um, your opponent still has to send it because this card does not directly affect the monster. It it forces your it's it's this weird thing where it forces your opponent to send um the monster themselves. Your opponent sends the monster, not the card. That's the best way to phrase it. I, I know it's weird sometimes, Yu-Gi-Oh rulings, but if a card makes your opponent send the card to the graveyard, um If a card makes your opponent do the thing, it's not the card that's doing it, it's the, it's the opponent that's doing it. Like, evenly matched is the same thing, for example. Evenly matched, also, cards can never be unaffected by evenly matched, right? Uh, like, if you have a board, let's say you have a board of five unaffected monsters, your opponent activates evenly, uh, you still have to, right? You still have to banish down to one. Um... Now, the, um, that's the reason why you play this card as a, as a target for, um, for, for Thrust, because I, I do think the biggest reason in this format is Forbidden Lance on a Rysar. That makes sense. What if there are unaffected by players? Well, imagine that. Imagine this card is unaffected by players. You can't pick it up. You can't read it. Unaffected. Solid list, honestly. I like that. I, I, I think this was a solid list. Um, I have... I don't think there's anything in here. There was nothing in here that was just... I don't think there was anything that was wrong. Where... I, I think the, the double disruptor and the rapid trigger, that's like... It's, I think it's debatable, but that doesn't mean it's wrong. It's like some people might like it, some people might not. I, I think it's a good... I think that was a good list. I like that. I'm not surprised uh, it did well. Um, of course, you're gonna have to admit that you have to dodge some Cash Tiras with this deck. Let's get this straight. Against Cash Tira, this deck's not the best in the format, but against everything else, I think it's a, I think it's a solid. Um, I think it's a very solid list.